everybody, and it's Kyle, and we got ourselves Terraria here, but uh, something special has happened, and that is Terraria 1.3 has come out, which boasts just a shit ton of stuff added to the game, and I want to do some of it, but uh, Brian is, who obviously we'd be doing the other series with, is not as available as I need him to be, so instead, we're going to start off with a new character, and I'm not going to sit here or make you sit here, rather, and watch me do this. So I'll be back once we have a world ready to go. Alright, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we have Little Miss Lady Merryweather joining us today, who we will be using for our new journey. And to begin our new journey, I have generated a new world called Uns Unsubstantiated. I spelled that wrong. Coup. You know, I can't have a Let's Play world that's spelled correctly. But, uh... This is an expert, which is a new mode added by 1.3, which gives more difficult enemies, but also greater rewards and a whole bunch of other stuff, so I figured, well, why not go for it? Alright, first thing you might notice after we load in here is, one, the lighting looks a bit different. With every sequential Terraria update, I often find that the uh, requirements for properly running the game seem to get blo more and more bloated, so... I had to bump it down to uh, a faster lighting system so that I could handle things. But obviously, since it's a brand new world, we're going to want to start just by getting our some wood. And we're going to collect these flowers, or at least some of them, because as you can see now, you get a buff with sun... or there's a, a new buff with sunflowers around, so I figured it'd be a good addition to have them wherever we decide to start building. And that's a convenient chest right off the bat. Alright, um, I will want to build a wooden sword as soon as possible, unless we get lucky, and there could potentially be a uh, a spear inside the, oh my gosh, a spear inside the chest, which would be fantastic. I'm not used, I'm so used to Starbound where you have to have your mouse in the correct direction to attack, but we found climbing gloves, which are pretty good. Oh my, I didn't realize there was this whole new thing right here with all this stuff. Recall potions, which are good. Silver coins, healing potions, and shurikens, which are whatever. Um, if I remember correctly, ah yes, there's also these special sets now for mounts and grappling hooks and pets and stuff, so you don't have to keep them in your inventory and you have quick access to whether or not you want them. Anyway, let's pick this chest up and get the lead that is underneath it. I'll grab these minerals, I'll cut down a couple more trees, build myself a sword, and then we can head west. Or, I guess... Yeah, it's west. I think it's they've corrected that. I know that it used to be incorrect and the sun went from west to east, but I'll just assume that that has been resolved. Get over here. I hate short swords. Why are they in the game? So I don't quite know all of the changes that make expert mode any different than regular Terraria. I know that I fought a couple of bosses just with my other characters trying out. Hey, there's something in here. What on earth? Does it have, like, a metal inside its body? Whatever, I'll just use my pickaxe. Oh yeah, it had tungsten in it. Holy shit, and five tungsten at that. That's pretty good. Well, that's a change. Anyway, let's replant some of these. They've got a nice little preview system so you can see what, what exactly you're doing and for fewer misclicks. So I have to break that, though. Alrighty, let's murder this. A golden squirrel. Whoa. I'm obviously going to murder that, because I don't have any other option right now other than let it live, but why would I do that? It didn't drop anything. Alright, in retrospect, let's not kill golden animals from now on. Okie dokie. Alright, let's roll. Oh, another slime with stuff in it. No. Stay back. I wonder if... What is it? What is it? Ooh. Silver coins. Nice. I wonder if... Well, what? How valuable of things slimes can hold. I wonder if it's just a buff in the early game to make it a little bit easier, or if they can always drop valuables. Let's make some torches while I'm thinking about it can feel the game chugging along a bit, which is, uh, not great. There's some water droplets coming down. Alright, I guess we will not go this direction, as I can see the corruption already. 
Oh, there's a chest. Get out of here. No. There's also a ton of lead over in the corruption, so I might try to grab that real quick, but I'll definitely want to build a sword first. No, you're gonna get bodied in the corner. Stay there. No. Oh my goodness. Alright, well that guy's fine. A mining potion. It's interesting. Aha, yes, a spear. F fuck yes. Alright, let's just loot everything else. I'm gonna put this gel over here. And I'll pick this. I already have a gold. I already have one and a half gold. That's ridiculous. Game's so silly. Alright, let's get dirt on the hot bar since it's gonna be pretty useful. And make sure the mushroom's on the bottom. So I don't accidentally eat the mushroom instead. I wonder if... I think they fixed it so you could use the best item available, but I'm not sure. No, get out of here. One thing that I will admit that is quite sad is I went back into my world that Brian and I were working on and I have found that our roller coaster, due to some sort of physics updates in the 1.3 update, no longer works. So that's sad. But hopefully in this um, Let's Play, or whatever it ends up being, hopefully we can have a roller coaster of our own to go somewhere special. Oh yeah. Okay. Dope. Let's grab this lead as well. And hope that the uh, corruption monsters don't bother me. I actually need to check. I might have to uh, do some prep before I mine that lead because I don't remember if it was protecting me. From, oh geez. If it was protecting me from the corruption or not. Get out of here. Such a pain in the ass all the time. I do like how they've updated it so you can sort of see as your mining blocks, you know. Took a page out of the Minecraft book. Oh, there's one block of stone protecting me from corruption. Fantastic. Let's let's do something about that. I've got wood, so I'll just take um, let's actually grab some shade wood while we're here, because I remember you can craft armor out of wood, and I'm pretty sure the wood from the corruption is slightly stronger. So that will be good when we first... Well, who knows, I might have enough lead, just make lead armor by the time I'm settled down. Um, I'll take the vile mushroom for now, I guess, and I will take the shade wood. Oh, ebon wood, sorry, shade wood is... Um, crimson, I guess. Get out of here. Don't even... I'm in the middle of something. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, I think I've made a fatal error. I should probably look to leave this area as soon as possible. But I need the lead. No. That slime picked up money, I think. Oh, I died already. Well, that's why it's on, uh... That's why it's on... Softcore or whatever. Oh, it shows where I died. Um, when do I get to respawn? Alright, I've respawned. Let's go get my cash back. Hello, Mr. Bunny. We're off to a fantastic start. Do I have anything that'll make me run faster? What are these? Why are they highlighted? Oh, they're new items, I guess. Yeah, that's what it appears. It's an interesting choice. Oh, look at this bastard just floating. Fuck you, I want my money to... No! No! I should have let more slime spawn, and then not killed them. No. Man, the spear is such a good early game weapon, holy shit. There's no reason I should be able to do this. Alright, quick, grab the lead and then get the fuck out of here. Forget the shade wood. I have gravestone already. I see you coming. Don't, don't you even try, don't even... I'm getting out of here now, okay? Okay, bro? You wanna, you wanna do this? Let's just get, alright. Problem solved. Almost. <laughs> I can't, there we go. 
Oh my gosh, how many are following me? How do I get rid of that? Mm. I'll look it up later. Maybe it will just stay there forever to remind me how bad I am at the game. Seems fair enough. Let's chop down some trees and replant shit on the way, shall we? It's gonna be nighttime soon, which is unfortunate. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Don't even. I'm gonna fight all of you. I'm gonna die to all of you. Get wrecked. Oh my gosh, it has like one health left. Come at me, bro. How do I reduce the opacity on that? Oh, fuck yes. Yes. That is an amazing drop right off the bat. Increased melee speed, which isn't as relevant, but also just the defense is really good. A purple slime. I'm in the middle of trying to figure things out, alright? Oh my gosh, I don't even... Protect me, fluorescent sunflowers. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't actually have to murder slimes on the surface, but I'd feel safer, and I need the gel. There we go. I'm so hurt. I'm so wrecked. I'm so bad. Okay, let's figure out how to change this. Map controls. Decrease transparency is page up. Oh. There we go. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my gosh. No, I'll grab this tree instead. See you later. The guide has managed to fall down a cliff, it would seem. Which I guess is the safest place for him to be at the time being. But once the, uh, the zombies come out, he's gonna be... It's gonna be a poor decision. Now I'm gonna fight you. Get out of here. Alright, sweet. The guide is going to be a huge asset in figuring out what all the new things I can make are because I have a very limited idea of what is available to me. Alright. Okay, I guess that'll work. Where you at, bro? Where you at? Where you at? Squirrel! Eyeball. Get out of here. Everything's just harassing me. Alright, what was I going to even check? You know what? Just because I have it, let's use this. I will fucking fight you, eyeball. Oh my gosh, just 37 damage. Such harassment. Get out of here. I need some stone. I should probably grab that while I'm at it. And this yellow marigold. Is that zombie carrying a spear? What is it holding on to? Is that just its other arm? Is it... I think it's holding its other arm. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's do a little bit of mining down here while we can. And let's... Quarantine... Or let's block off this area a bit. Just to keep me safe while I do it. That way I'll have some blocks to get around with as well as... Squirrel, get the fuck out of here. As well as... Uh, some stone for building, which is going to be pretty important, and I'll cut back once I've mined this out because it's not going to be particularly interesting. <laughs> Alright, so I've got all this stone mined out. There wasn't any clay or anything especially useful, but it should be good for now, and there are a plethora of zombies waiting to tear me limb from limb, so I should be careful getting out of here. Alright. Alright, just fight all of them with the spear, because the spear is fucking ridiculous. Don't even try. Just, just can't even. Like, I didn't necessarily consider a spear in real life to be this efficient, but apparently you can just hold off like eight people with one spear at a time. 
Well, that worked out pretty well. I am just noticing now that I'm missing a gold, which uh, I would hazard a guess probably had something to do with me dying. I did read in the changelog that enemies will run away with your gold now, which is frustrating, and it just means I have to not die as much. And there's another squirrel friend. So, oh, I hear a star. Are you a star? Oh, yeah. So we're going to head this way for a little bit. I have some pretty... I have some big ideas for what I want to do with the housing complex, but I'm not sure w how long it will take before I'm ready to actually build some build things as large as that. Basically, a long time ago, Brian and I were working on a giant castle, and that giant castle, the map was just called Walls, and we never finished it, which upset Brian because he really wanted to see it done, but it just never happened. And I kind of want to do something similar, maybe not to as large of a scale, but I want to have some sort of castle thing, and almost maybe make it stacked or tiered, so it's sort of like going up towards the heavens, since 1.3 was the lunar update, and we'll build our city of Babylon up to the sky. Uh, I like getting a lot of fallen stars, which is nice. I'll leave those flowers there for now. And now we have some taller trees, which I will cut down a couple of to get wood. And we're getting... The worst of the night is over, which is nice because I'm ready for the sun to come back out. And I'm ready to stop. I think I hear a worm. There's no way. Alright, whatever. Anyways, I'm tired of being harassed by zombies. Although they are good sources of money in the early game. And various other resources like slime and arrows. I could probably build a shadewood bow and it would be a little bit stronger than a regular bow. Oh, they just, you guys stealing my cash? I wonder, because I saw a sparkling, I saw a sparkling, like, eater earlier. I wonder if that was, had stolen my honey or something. That's dumb. No, don't trash it, I want it. My character is looking real bad. So hopefully we can get something a bit more stylish in the near future. And stop running into zombies, since I can't afford to do that anymore. They're much more painful than they used to be. Let's grab that star before night is over. I hear people shouting outside. It is the 2nd of July, so America Pride is coming. Because hell yeah, America. I should get fireworks. That's fun. I've never done that before. But then that might suggest that I care about America, and I'm not sure if I can bear that weight. Don't you dare take my cash, and I'll murder you. Alright, let's roll. Got one lens. Unfortunately, the magic number is two, so we can't make goggles yet to hide this hideous helmet. But I'm sure we'll figure out something. There will be many more nights, I assure you. Okay, last zombie. Their AI is probably telling them to leave, so I'll just let them go. Not without jumping into them and taking 20 damage first. Plant that back down. chop this tree down. And I don't really have a lot of wood to start with, but I don't want to go destroying all of these trees because they're the best trees. They're so tall, look at them. Did... Oh, that was a bird. I thought it was a slime and I was real confused. Anyway, let's continue. Um, that was a new noise. I wonder if it was an antlion. Oh, fuck, there's something in here. Why did I come in here? What have I done?